mid-June of this year, we took a trip south of the border to Costa Rica to ride with UltimateRideCR.com. So what's the plan for today? Okay, <laughs> we're gonna make sure that you guys start sweating a little bit from the first trail. No, no, we're, we're, we're gonna go in around the, the area at once, uh, the popular trails around here that Enduro guys use uh, uh, for, for training. Um, we will be heading back around 4 p.m. Uh, hopefully if it's not raining that much. And uh, today we're, we, we, we will get to know the bikes, get to know the trails. We would like to know that your skills and what would you like to do, and and so after that we will decide what the next trails we're gonna do after midday. All right, so we're going out with these guys today, up into the hills above San Jose, just for like a shakedown ride, see see what the trails are like. It rained a lot last night, so uh, could be a little bit muddy out there. When we hit our first single track, we knew it was going to be a long day. The trails were extremely slick and muddy. Well, we got a little traffic jam up ahead. Alright, so we're definitely in the jungle. We are stuck on this hill. It rained a lot yesterday, as we said, and uh, now we're trying to climb up this hill here. Halfway up this hill, it's definitely not getting any easier right here. So uh, we're gonna shut it down for a minute, and take a breather. It's hot and humid, but it's really challenging. So if you're into hard enduro, this is probably good for you. Well, our first few hours on the trail proved to be really difficult and challenging. It was hot, and the traction was really difficult. But we were soon out on some faster fire roads, and it let us cool down a bit from the hot temperatures. Big coffee plant. 
Sun Station. And we're heading to a volcano today, so uh, that's where we're going to stay tonight. So it's going to be a good day. A little bit achy this morning from yesterday's special test session in, on the single track, but we're good. Hey, we're here day two. We're just coming through the jungle. We got some great waterfalls. We just crossed through the coffee fields. Um, we got heated fruit out here. We got everything. It's a pretty amazing trip so far. So it's been really cool so far with the guys from Ultimate Rides. CR.com is uh, these sort of late model Husqvarna and KTM bikes and uh, pretty much had zero problems the whole time. This is a 350 Husky. Yeah, it's been really good so far. Today we have a lot of distance to cover to make it to the Taralba volcano before dark. So the trails were much more faster and flowing than they were yesterday. There are a lot of bikes in Costa Rica, even the guy from Uber Eats likes to pop some wheelies sometimes. <laughs> we just had lunch, we're up on these uh, cow trails up here, up into the fog, heading towards a volcano. Trails are pretty difficult right now. Uh, yeah, muddy. There's tons of traction, but it almost makes you loop out on some of the stuff that you're going uphill on. As we made it to the base of the volcano, we had no idea what was in store for us. The trails became more and more technical. The last eruption of the Taralba volcano was in 2017. We came across this dried lava riverbed, and Jake decided to show us some more of his hard enduro skills. Go. We're going into the abyss. It's a bit foggy out. I don't know if I'm coming back out. <laughs> you want to do it walking or? Walk. Okay. Yeah, I'm walking. This is hard enduro. I'm about the easy enduro. Our pace had really slowed down as we came across more and more obstacles as we made our way to the base of the volcano. by what we're coming across here. Oh yeah, dude. Woo! We are doing it. We are definitely doing it. As the rain came down harder, the trail became more and more difficult to navigate as the riding surface became more and more slimy. Oh. 
little lava hole right there. Apparently, a little bit warm. <laughs> warm up my hands. Warm my bath. Yeah. All right, so we're over here. We're trying to go up this giant hill climb, climb over here. We got thunder. We got rainstorms. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think we're going up that. I'm just saying. That was good. I looped out at the bottom. I didn't even get on the trail. That's nice, isn't it? I decided to take a crack at this hill climb. It was really slick and muddy, and there was a drop off on either side. getting close to the end of the day and we decided to make our way back down the volcano. At least the rain had eased off a bit as we headed towards our lodging for the night. We were soon off of the grey volcanic ash and onto some lush green fields again. nice and early today for day three we we're heading towards the Pacific coast to the town of Jaco it was going to be another long day the weather had taken a real turn for the worse as the tropical depression really kicked in Trails were really slick and we did a lot of water crossings. We made it to the Pacific coastal town of Jaco just before sunset. It was nice to pull up to the hotel on the seafront and grab a cold beer. Oh look at this. Service with a smile. Woo. So we made it to the end of day three here. We're at the beach in Jaco on the Pacific coast. What a great way to roll in here up right at sunset it rained really hard this morning so uh, I think the trails are gonna be pretty muddy so we'll see how it goes but this is a great little spot the goal for today was to head back to San Jose we knew it was gonna be a wet one but the rain came sooner than we thought All right, so right on cue, it started raining, so we're going to uh, put our rain jackets on here and uh, try not to get too wet out here. All right, we're at this beach just south of Jaco. I think we're going to try and ride up the beach a little bit, but it, obviously it is pissing down with rain. That's the uh, Pacific right there. Apparently it's a really good spot for surfing. So uh, we're going to give it a try. rain we'd seen on our trip so far and all the rivers were filling up quickly with muddy brown water we're up in the hills now it's still raining and we've got some other stuff to deal with now there's a giant tree in the middle of the trail I'm gonna let these guys go and clear it up and sit on my bike for a little bit Oh! 
So if you're watching this on YouTube, sitting on your armchair at home, wondering why we're going so slow, it's like snot on concrete. You hit the back brake and it goes sideways. You hit the front brake and it slides. Well, unless you're Randy. Unless you have some skills. <laughs> kept pushing on through the rain and the muddy conditions. We had to make some detours along the way because some of the rivers we were supposed to cross were too full. Stopped here to get some gas and it is coming down pretty hard with some rain again. I'm gonna sit here for a little bit, see if the uh, rain eases off. This pulled over here for a minute. It is seriously raining hard right now so we've got our jackets on but the rest of us the rest of our body is soaking wet gloves pants our boots are full of water so uh we're gonna just keep pushing on and try and get back to uh san jose Today we're going out on some adventure bikes. We've done uh, four days of enduro riding. Now we're gonna go out and ride these big bikes out on some trails. Hopefully it's not so muddy, but uh, we have some, some Shinko knobbies on here, so we should be good to go. Nothing like a little bit of lane splitting to uh, get a warm up. As we gradually made our way out of San Jose, we were soon onto some nice windy roads. Today would have its fair share of river crossings as well. We even tried out the GoPro to see if we could see any fish. That mud effect river crossing was a little gnarly. You get going through it and all of a sudden the traction control kicks in as you start to sink in the mud and you gotta really get on it. It's a little bit difficult. It doesn't look that bad, but it's more difficult. So we're down here with the guys from UltimateRidesCR.com. We've had a great time. We've ridden down here for five days. We've done um, some hard enduro on the first day and we didn't really do too good at that, but uh, we gave it a try. And then we've uh, been on adventure bikes all day today. So if you want to do a tour like this, you can go online, check out www.UltimateRidesCR.com.